Hey there everyone, you all seem to enjoy my Longchamp starter kit video, so I thought I would do the same thing for Kurt Geiger. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. Those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, some slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe and turn on notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you and just celebrating who you are, celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So. I did a little Longchamp starter kit video a week or so ago and when I posted that you all seemed to really enjoy it so I thought I would have a go with a couple of different brands and maybe make this a bit of a series. I'm not going to do it for brands that I don't buy from because that to me would seem disingenuous um, but I will do it for the brands that I purchased from so maybe Kurt Geiger, Karl Lagerfeld, um, Mulberry, etc. Um, and then see see where that takes us. Um, but of course, if you would like my take on what my first items would be from X brand, then please do let me know and I'm happy to have a little look and see what would capture my attention and how I would piece together my first kind of bag from, from that particular brand. Anyway, let's get into it. So, First things first, like the Longchamp video, not every item on this list will be from the brand because they don't all do them. Um, or maybe I have the item, but I don't have it in that particular, in this particular brand, but I would definitely recommend it. I would look at it. And actually a few, fair few of these items are on my list now because when I was preparing for this video, I thought, wow, I would really like that. Why don't I have that already? So I will talk you through those. I will share what those individual items are and Let's go for it. So as with anything, you have to start with the bag itself. And Kurt Geiger have a wide range of bags. And dependent on your price point and your preferences will depend on which bag you go for. So there are a couple of different options. So you could go, for example, oh, a lot of chains happening here. You could go for one of their tweed variants. I have this one here, which is in black with multicolour detailing and sequins and silver hardware. I then also have this one, which is in a navy blue with a black glittery check and a champagne gold hardware. Alternatively, and this would be my recommendation as the first bag from Kurt Geiger, would be the Kurt Geiger Double XL Flap. And you can buy this in a range of materials. I've got one in denim and you can also buy them in leather. And I would probably recommend the leather if leather is your preference. I'm conscious that I do have vegan subscribers, there are other options available. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to talk about the leather. But of course, you could also use denim, and I have denim as well. So there is, there is a multitude of options. So I would absolutely recommend this bag. I love the practicality of it. I love the size of it. I think it's so easy to use. You can use it as a shoulder bag. You can use it cross body. Tuck one of the straps in and use it as a top handle. The, the options really are kind of endless with this particular style. Mine's a tiny bit on the slouchy side, but I've kind of grown to love that. Um, oh, oh. The only thing I would say with this is that occasionally when you're using it, the flap kind of gets caught and it looks like the sorting hat from Harry Potter, but I will insert a photo. But anyway, this is the base of it. And this has gone through a few price increases. Now it's at about 320. So we're already beyond the price point of the Longchamp starter kit. However, for a full leather bag, I don't think this is bad. And I do think that the other variants can come in less expensive. So I know the sequin is 249 so you can get different materials for different price points but this would be my my starting point now because it's a flat bag you don't need an insert you can just start to throw the items straight in and the first item that i would go for personally with kurt geiger would be a long wallet i love their long wallets and i'm a long wallet fan anyway um and the one that i'm particularly loving is their monogrammed long wallet and what i love about that is that it folds flat so when you open it out, folds flat, card slots, um, opportunity to put cash in there as well. I also think you could probably use this as a mini clutch if you wanted to, um, just because it's that kind of easy grab and go shape and it's a nice silhouette. 
I like the Kurt Geiger monogram in as well, and it's just shy of £70, which I don't think is a bad price point, and it will be hard wearing. Kurt Geiger stuff is hard wearing, and I've heard mixed reviews about the quality. I have never had a problem with the quality of their pieces, but of course, each to their own, everyone has their own preferences, but I have never had a problem with the quality and I've been buying from Kurt Geiger for many years. Their shoes occasionally have the odd issue, but actually shoes I think are kind of a, a issue in amongst themselves. You know, you can spend a thousand pounds on shoes and still have issues. So I think shoes are a funny one, but in terms of their bags and SLGs, etc., never had a problem. Now, of course, if, an, if a long one, it doesn't work for you and you would just like a card holder, then you could go for a Kurt Geiger card holder. And they do still sell this one. This is one of their rainbow ones. I absolutely love the mixture of color here. This is 50 pounds. But to be honest, if I was going to spend 49 pounds on this or 69 on a long wallet, I'm choosing the long wallet because actually I use my Kurt Geiger long wallet probably on par with how I use a card holder. And this actually matches this bag. You can get them in matching sets if you wanted to. Now, another option, if you wanted to get more bang for your buck, and another item that I would absolutely recommend, and you know I have Longchamp and Osprey variants of these, is a pouch. And they do, I think it's called the Eagle Pouch Set. And this is a small cosmetics pouch, plus a card holder for 69 pounds. And it's in a black kind of mock croc. I really like this. You couldn't fit a huge amount of cosmetics in this. However, it might just cause you to kind of reduce the amount that you take with you, particularly because given the size of this bag, it's not actually got as much space as the equivalent bag would be if it was one open space. Because as you can see here, two compartments and the chains run through the central divider, which does limit the amount of space and limits what you can put in this. So a bag of a similar size, for example, the Longchamp Rousseau, you know, they're a similar size, this can fit a laptop, this cannot. Well, a full-size laptop, a 15-inch laptop, whereas this could only fit, I think it could fit my 13-inch MacBook, um, but you'd really be kind of pushing it, um, and it would make the bag very heavy. But that would definitely be something to consider. That pouch set, it's very, very nice. Like I said, good quality items, and you get a two-for-one with that. For the price of the long wallet, you would get a pouch and also a um, card holder, and the pouch could serve you as a coin case, as headphone storage, makeup, cosmetics, sunglasses, you know, whatever you wanted to put in there, you absolutely could. It has more versatility than a long wallet would for the same price. But I just know based on my usage, I recommend the long wallets because I really do like them. And I'm a big bag person, as you know, so I do tend to carry more stuff. My subscribers who carry smaller bags are probably thinking, Nick, shut up about the long wallets. We don't want them anymore. We're done. We left that behind in 2015. Well, I'm sorry. I'm still riding that train and I'm very happy doing so. Okay, and of course, we also need somewhere to house our keys and our car keys and, you know, whatever it is that we carry in that, on that front. Now, unfortunately, they don't, you, they don't do a six ring key holder. Um, Longchamp do uh, from time to time. They don't at the Mo, but they do um, from time to time, which is what this is. However, I absolutely love, and I'm going to buy this myself because I think it's fabulous, the Be Kind key ring. It's a large key ring, it's metal, it shouldn't scratch all that easily, it's colourful which will make it easy to find in the kind of cavernous space of your bag, you can pull it out and it's around £19 and what I love about this is the kind of be kind motif that Kurt Geiger have with the rainbow, it's just all about positivity and kindness and support of one another, love and care for one another and I think that's a really important message and what a nice way to be able to support that message without spending a fortune doing so. So I think it's absolutely lovely, I will 100% be picking that up for myself. I'm planning to go to Kurt Geiger probably not next week, the week after and I will see if I can take you with me. Um, but I will absolutely go and buy this. I think it's wonderful. And I love, love, love the philanthropic nature of Kurt Geiger as a brand. You know that I'm very passionate about what they do. So really, really love to be able to support their signature motifs from that perspective. Now, this will all depend on the climate you live in. I live in the UK and the rain is temperamental to say the least. So I would purchase the rainbow umbrella 
which is £50, £49. They love a kind of end on a nine at Kurt Geiger. Um, I absolutely love this. I love the rainbow. I think it's beautiful. Again, this is one that when I'm next to Kurt Geiger, I'm going to pick up because I use a long, a Osprey London, sorry, Osprey London umbrella. And yeah, it's nice. It's got the logo on it. It's just a plain black umbrella. But I really love the fun of this. I really love the playfulness of it. And when it's peeing it down, why not be under your own little rainbow? I kind of love that almost. I don't know if that was what they were intending, but almost that feeling of, you know, out of the rain comes a rainbow. You can't have a rainbow without the rain. And I kind of love that. And I don't know if I'm just making that up in terms of their intention behind it, but I think that's a really lovely sentiment. I really enjoy that. And, oh, I've got something in my Sorry, the problem with long eyelashes is that they get caught on one another um, and then they fall out. So, yeah, I might be making up that that's what they were going for, but I kind of love that. And when I'm when I'm using that, I would feel like I was under my own little rainbow. And I think that's an absolutely wonderful place to be. Who doesn't love a rainbow? I mean, tell me if you don't down in the comments, but if you don't, you need to you need to up your joy factor. I mean, come on, who doesn't love a rainbow? But anyway, I would definitely go for this. So what are we up to now in terms of a spend? We are at Okay, I'm gonna say that we're going for the double XL flap as the base bag. However, if you were to go for, let's say this one, you would be reducing that cost by 120 pounds. This was, oh no, this was 180. 140 pounds you would be reducing it by. So, okay, so if you would go for the medium Kensington flap, then just knock off 140 off of whatever the end is here. So we have the bag itself for 320. We have the long wallet for 70, so we're at 390. The key ring is 20, so we're at 410. Then we have the pouch and card set, which is 70, so we're at 490, 480. Plus we have the umbrella, so we're at 530. And then the final item that I would recommend, and I recommend this across a bag collection, regardless of the brand. And this isn't from Kurt Geiger, but it's from a similar brand that, I, that you might have heard of. And this is from Radley, and this is their leather cleaner. I, you can buy this from John Lewis. I've used this in the past. I actually need to go and buy some more. When I'm next in the city center, I will go and pick some up. And it's seven pounds. How can you not want to look after your bags when the, when the care is so inexpensive? If you're spending £320 on the bag, absolutely spend £7 on the care of it. I do the same thing with Longchamp. I have the nylon cleaners, as you know, and for leather pieces, this is always going to be a win. So absolutely go and pick this up. Well worth it. Even if you use other bag brands, I would recommend this. I've used this particular item on Osprey bags, on my the handles of my mulberry because leather's a skin at the end of the day and you need to look after it. So you need to make sure that it stays in good condition. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, but that takes our total to, where did we get to? About 520, 530. Of course, like I said, knock off, knock off 140 if you're going for this opposed to this. You can also buy them pre-loved and you can get a good off you can get good offers on pre-loved. You can also buy them in a sale and Kurt Geiger often do a 50% off sale. So there are lots of opportunities to reduce the cost. My way of reducing it would be that I wouldn't go for the pouch and card holder. I would just use the um, long wallet. So my cost would end up being around 460 um, in order to kit out this accordingly. Um, or it would be 320 if I were to kit this out. So there we have it, everyone. That's my kind of Kurt Geiger starter kit, my recommendations from the brand. Let me know what you think. Are you a Kurt Geiger fan? Have you been thinking about their items? What have you heard about them? I'm a big fan and look forward to speaking to you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.